gas explosion dismemberment and a stab to the chest feature among scenarios that are part of a high-tech patient simulator that will be used as a real-life training tool at Gisborne Hospital. The simulator is a core component of MORSIM, Multidisciplinary Operating Room Simulation, a national team training intervention program for surgical teams. The goal is to improve safety and efficiency of care for patients. A University of Auckland team was in Gisborne for two days last week to provide training that focused on teamwork and communication for nurses, anaesthetists, anaesthetic technicians and surgeons. A significant component of the training was a life-size simulator that can breathe, register a pulse at the ankle and wrist, moan, scream and cough. So SimMan is a sort of fully integrated system which is joined up to the computer system which is the instruction system over there. And this is the patient monitor and everything is interactive so this he can actually, he has um, a pulse system so he, you can actually take his heart rate and everything. You can also look into his eyes, he also actually interacts via the uh, computer console. So we can actually put in anywhere up to about 50 different scenarios and he will enact those scenarios and we can do surgery on him. High tech software operates the mechanised model that can be fitted with a severed leg that flows pulsatile blood. In this scenario, trainees deal with realistic muscle tissue made from latex to find the source of injury and stop the bleeding. Gisborne Hospital is the second district health board in the country to get on-site training. Delivered by Auckland University, the Mawson programme will be rolled out across the rest of New Zealand's 18 DHBs over five years. Tairawhiti was chosen because it had previously demonstrated enthusiasm for educational opportunities, said programme manager Kayleen Henderson.